say the 13th, I believe. Some areas in the country, they celebrate the Ascension 40 days after Easter, but here in our diocese, Orlando, we have pushed it to the Sunday. So this is really the sixth week of Easter, reading for the Acts of the Apostles. Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. There he met a Jew named Aquila, a native of Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla because Claudius had ordered all the Jews to leave Rome. He went to visit them, and because he practiced the same trade, tent maker, stay with them and worked, for they were tent makers by trade. There you go. Every Sabbath he entered discussions in the synagogue, attempting to convince both Jews and Greeks. When Silas and Timothy came from Macedonia, Paul began to occupy himself totally with the preaching the word, testifying to the Jews that Christ was Jesus. When they opposed him and reviled him, he shook his garments and said to them, Your blood be on your heads. I am clear of responsibility. For now on, I will go to the Gentiles. And so he left there and went to a house belonging to a man named Titus Justus. The word of the Lord. Well, he went to them first, the Jews, but they were not receptive. He said, okay, fine. I'm out of here. I'll go where I'm accepted, to the Gentiles. See if they'll be open to hear God's word. Many, many years ago, I was in Oman Beach. What I thought I had was a ninth youth center. We had this old Quonson hut. It used to be used like storage, but then we cleared it out. And I got to make a little, I thought it was a very nice youth center. This is back in the 90s. Ooh, long, oh, well, nearly 30 years ago. Can't believe it's that long already from my age. But we had uh, pool tables, video games, like they had the video, you know, those big things, not these little TVs anymore. Foosball. When we had TVs, and we used to be Friday night, watch basketball. So it was a nice little, you know, get up. Everything was free. I used to get these old from the and music places, you know, video games places, and they'd give me the older ones, or they fixed it. The guy went to my church, I think, so he got us. So anyway, I had all the Pac-Man, all those ones. So the kids loved it. Well, I thought the kids loved it. And my intention was kids at our church. We had open Friday nights. Come, and we actually and they had to all basketball court as well. And, well, none of the kids at the church came. And I said, oh, boy, that's a bummer get all this. Well, I said, I have it. And I'm going to use it. And what it made me do, not maybe, but, you know, gave me another option. Right on the other side of the church, even Oman Beach was this, you know, so lower income, it was Trump, like unpaved road, these kids. And I told them about it. And they gladly came because they had much to do. So they were happy. So it was almost feel like, well, I offered, you know, Paul says, but you're not going to come? I'll give it to those who will come. And they came. Every Friday night they were there. And so they really appreciated it, really enjoyed it. And we developed, we had a little tutoring for them. And then one of the young girls, 15, whatever, she became pregnant. We had a shower for her. We took care of her. So all these were beautiful things. Then we started feeding them during the week a little bit. Anyway, I can go on and on. But the point was we offered for our own and they were not interested. And like Paul said, well, I'll go to the Gentiles. Well, I'll go for people even though they're not part of our church. Yeah. It was strange. I mean, think about it. Christmas Eve was on a Friday night. And they came to the, and they came to the youth center on Friday night. Yeah. We had gifts for them. But they really didn't have any, that family background spending, you know, you understand. So it was really special. It was really special that way. You know, to tell you the truth, I'm kind of glad that my own Christians didn't come. I don't think they, they don't really need the same way. These kids did. Uh, so at least for a few years, hopefully some good was done to them. God bless you.